So now we are within the playing area, so every customer yes, we, can we try have, on the self. Absolutely. Yeah. We have our, our Tascam trainers that people can plug in and put headphones on and, and tone test all our new models. That's cool. Yeah. Here we have the rest of the high performance line. We have our SGs. Uh, they incorporate uh, a lot of the features that the Les Pauls had that we already covered. So we have a smoother, uh, reduced heel, you know, for uh, smoother access to the highest frets. We have the full buffed fingerboard and fret treatment, genuine mother of pearl inlays, the same titanium nut and G-force. And then we have uh, the chrome trim package and locking uh, aluminum tunematic and stop bar tailpiece. We have a lot of great variety and uh, new colors too. We also move the strap button here because we reduce the heel and it also makes it balance a little bit different. It keeps it from being you know quite so tippy. So that was just a, a subtle yet important feature that we added to that. We have the Les Paul Special. Here we have the Firebird our classic Firebird with the high performance features. So we still have the, the classic mini humbucking pickups, but we have the high performance aluminum tunematic stop bar tailpiece, the locking studs. The studs are also steel. So with the steel studs and aluminum stop bar and, and tunematic, it's you know greater sustain and uh, harmonics. Uh, of course, chrome knobs, uh, chrome trim, and chrome truss rod cover, and then. It, like all the high performance gu guitars, we have the uh, titanium nut and the latest generation of the G-Force. Next, we have the, the uh, Firebird Studio, uh, which is uh, a set neck version of the Firebird instead of the neck through. And then we have the uh, end humbucking pickups. So it has the look of the reverse Firebird, but in uh, a different neck construction and humbucking pickups. Next, we have the latest generation of the high performance Flying V, here we have the uh, pickups mounted in mounting rings and a pickguard. Historically, we had a larger pickguard that the pickups mounted into, but we, we trimmed down the pickguard so we could still use the mounting rings, have the chrome trim and trim rings on the Dirty Finger Plus pickups, and then, of course, all the, the chrome trim as the uh, other high-performance guitars have. An interesting feature on our uh, non-bound high-performance guitars if you look close, you don't see the fret tang. Traditionally, you saw the fret slots, install the frets, and you see the tang of the fret on the side of the fingerboard. And again, as the guitars settle, you know, it's, you know, it's common for the frets to slightly sprout on the ends, and you have to have them filed down and polished. With this, what we did was we undercut the fret, and we machine a slot in there, so it's a blind fret slot. It's, it's enclosed, so that's all solid rosewood, no filler in it. So that, again, it's, it's, it's a time-consuming uh, operation for us to do, but it's a very cool feature. Next, we have the Explorer. So again, you know, based on the classic Explorer with all the high-performance features, blind fret slots again, polished fingerboard, genuine mother of pearl inlay, titanium nut, and uh, latest generation of the G-Force assembly. Here we have our new EB base. It's available in a four string and five string. This is the five. We have our pickups that we developed in 2011. They're humbucking pickups that have a tap option. So when they're not tapped, they have a full uh, fat mid-range heavy you know, sound like you would expect. And when you tap them, it, it scoops the mid, so it's, it's like a classic uh, scoop mid bass sound you know, that a lot of basses have. So you have different voice options, and it's all passive, but it's very active sounding, you know, meaning it's lively and bright. And, and with the taps, you, know, you can do any combination and blending, so it's a, a lot of tonal variety within the bass. Two volumes, one master tone. We have the Babis full contact locking uh, bass bridge. So you can, it has full contact from the saddle to the body. It's very solid. There's nothing that's going to rattle loose. You can make the adjustments and then lock it down. It's just a great, great high tech bridge. Swamp ash body. So it, it has uh, a really resonant sound and very lightweight. A 24 fret, 34 inch scale fingerboard, and uh, a very slim uh, C C shaped neck. So it's a very fast feeling neck and a satin finish, maple neck, 
We did three piece, so it's laminated to be stronger, uh, which we felt in a base is uh, very important. And then we have uh, uh, die cast enclosed tuners and our tectoid nut. So this is the latest generation and, and our new body shape. We extended the horn so it has uh, better balance than our previous generation of the EB and uh, just a real fast uh, take on our EB base.